Oh, hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mac Kerfman with Max Java Coffee Roasters with another edition of All About Coffee. So we have been talking about flavors in coffee. We've been talking about how, how, how the flavor of coffee gets into the coffee. And specifically this week, we've been talking about the chemistry of coffee and how that, what's in the coffee, how the coffee is grown, uh, where the coffee is grown, all those things uh, lend to the coffee flavor. So we also have been talking about the roasting process, the five levels of roasting, if you will. We talked about that a couple of days ago. So the first level of roasting is the Maillard uh, reaction. Second level is the caramelization. Third is the first crack. Fourth is the pyrolysis. And then the fifth is the second crack. So I want to talk this morning about <clears throat> those different levels of roast, the different levels of roast in those stages. So in the Maillard and the car caramelization, we typically don't uh, release the coffee. We don't drop the coffee out. We don't stop the roasting process. It's really not fit. The coffee at that point is not fit to drink. Where we do start dropping out uh, or ending the roasting process, if you will, is at the first crack. The cinnamon, if you will, the, the cinnamon roast. Some, sometimes you get the on the bag, you might see cinnamon roast. It's just before the first crack uh, happens. And that cinnamon uh, is sort of a kind of very acidic coffee, very, very acidic. Um, kind of green tasting a little bit. Uh, uh, almost peanutty taste to it. It's got a very light or thin body to it. Uh, really not the coffee that you would typically think of drinking. It's more like tea, if you will, in, in my opinion, more like tea. <clears throat> That's at the cinnamon roast. You keep going uh, and at the, uh, at the light roast, which is very early, it's early in the first crack. Remember the cinnamon was before the first crack. Uh, the, the light roast is in the early part of the first crack. Uh, it's got very bright acidity, again, very acidic coffee, a very light body, darker, a little darker than the, than the cinnamon, but still light, uh, very, very light. If you keep going, um, again, the, the light body was in the, in the early in the first crack. The medium, light medium, if you will, light medium is at the end of the first crack. It's kind of got a fruity, uh, a little bit fruitier acidity to, acidity to it. It is sweeter. You've got a very sweet taste to it. And it's got more body. All right. So light medium. The next is, the, and it's got more complex flavors. More complexity is building in. That's one of the things about the roasting process. The coffee gets more complex deeper into the roasting process. Again, one of the reasons I like, uh, I like the roasting. Oh, so that was light medium. Then we'll go to medium or sometimes what's called city roast. It's just before the second crack occurs. You've had the first crack. Uh, you, you've gone into the pyrolysis and now uh, you're just before, just before the second crack. It's got a whiny acidity to it. All right. Less acidity, but it's kind of a whinier taste to it. Uh, light bodied, um, fruit, fruit, juicy, fruity, a little bit. Uh, sweet. Um, um, it's kind of all the rage at this point. If you if you hear the term third wave coffee roasters, uh, this is a, a where a lot of the third wave wave excuse me third wave roasters stop the roasting process at the medium uh, or level. Um, deeper into the roasting process, again that was just before the second crack. Uh, early now, early in the second crack is the what we'll call full city roast, um, or what I call medium roast, full city or medium. You're early in the second crack. You're into the second crack now, but early. You've got a caramely taste to it now, kind of a ripe fruit taste. Medium acidity, um, a little bit flatter, but medium, uh, a medium body as well. You've gone from very, very light body now to a medium body coffee. Um, the aromatics tend to be at their peak level here in the, in the medium, and uh, it's much more complex. Espresso, if you keep going into the, uh, into the roasting process, into the second crack, the espresso, or there's different terms for it, uh, Viennese uh, coffee, 
uh, it's into the second crack now, deeper into that second crack. They've got a brown surface, very dark brown surface. Oils now begin to uh, show up on the surface. The surface of the bean looks uh, like it's got a sheen to it, a dark oily surface. Lower acidity, basically because now you're baking some of that acidity back out of the coffee. Uh, body is more developed. You've got the at the at this level. You've got the body that's most developed. The character is most developed here. It's a sweeter coffee, but you're now starting to get a little bit uh, smoky tinge to it. All right, a little bit smoky tinge. And if you keep going into the roasting process, you get more of those smoky tinges to it. If you keep going into the second crack. Now, I'm not going to talk about, you now. if you keep going in, again, you're getting darker and darker, more, uh, now you're starting to go the opposite direction. At the Full City Espresso, you've reached your, your peak um, uh, mellowness, and the deeper now into that second crack, you're baking, and now you're getting more acidity, okay? So you went very, very high acidity, to kind of lower acidity, and now further into that second crack, you're now getting more acidity into the process. Or we talked yesterday, the darker the, the that roast gets, the more astringent it gets as well. All right, so that's a little bit about the roasting levels. Uh, so I hope you're having a good day. That's Friday, so I hope you have a good day, and I look forward to talking with you tomorrow. Thanks, everybody.